What's going on everyone? Your favorite Gilles Hater is back with some more beef. So I'm probably gonna get a little grief today and piss a lot of woman off because you know, I'm a man with a man's opinion. But hey, what's new? So to cut to the chase, Alexa Vega, the chick who played Carmen in the Spy Kids movies, got some slack on her Instagram just for stating her own opinions and beliefs on a Q&A. Now, if you haven't kept up with her over the years, she's become pretty religious. And for my observation, it's pretty hardcore. Some Bible thumper type shit. Which is just fine. Ain't nothing wrong with a little Jesus. God knows you all need him. But some of the questions people were asking, or just some of the things that were being said in general, were pretty mouth breathing. You can tell some of these people are not getting enough oxygen to their brains. Okay, let's piss people off. I'm genuinely confused by this question. Um, but I will say, I think it's a privilege that we can so openly love Jesus and be Christian. Because there are many countries where you can't. So I think that is a privilege. I mean, she's right. America is the world's melting pot for religious freedoms and cultures, regardless of what the media spews. And unfortunately, you don't get these type of freedoms around the world. There's no better place to be who you are or what you want to be than America. This question before, I am not pro-abortion at all. I don't think it's really ever okay. Um, if it's the mother's life at risk, I would say you need to ask God your, um, your decision and pray. Um, but that would probably be the only time. My personal opinion, no, it's not the baby's fault. Breaks my heart for that mother. Breaks my heart for anybody who's had to go through that experience. And I think we need better programs set up to help moms who have gone through that. But it's not the baby's fault. Now, the line is very skewed for me because I've never experienced anything like this. But I do understand both sides of the argument. Being pro-life, but also very, very pro-choice. Oh my god, you hear that? Epoch hates woman. He wants to take away our rights. No, I didn't say that at all. I literally just said I'm very pro-choice. But if a female gets an abortion with no circumstances at play, such as R.A. PE or any other complication. I do have an issue with it, especially with being a father who held his dead son in his hands. After that experience, I have a much bigger appreciation for life. And honestly, no one has the right to tell me otherwise. That being said, since I have no experience in being one of these victims, I'm not going to try to actively take someone's choices away or even really butt in, even if I disagree with them. If that's what they want to do, then so be it. That's on them, not me. It doesn't affect me whatsoever. And just to double down here on what I just said because weirdos are going to try to twist my words if anyone chooses to get an abortion because they believe it to be the right thing for themselves even if i disagree i will not try to lecture them or stop them i'm so sorry to hear that um i am too a victim of sexual abuse even hard still for me to use the word rape but i still stand by what i said this kind of reminds me of when I called out a family channel for faking miscarriages and infertility. Get told by a bunch of nine-year-olds that I have no right to speak about such a sensitive topic. Because I don't know what it's like to lose a child. Even though I do, I know more than most. They also try to invalidate my pain and experience. Because I'm a man. And I'm not the woman who grew a baby inside of her. And get told that I just need to stick to man business. Which I'm assuming is mowing a lawn or some shit. I don't know. What else would it be? So this chick just assumed. Alexa wasn't a victim and has no right to speak about matters such as this which I find funny because isn't there like a culture within America based around abusing women basically saying that every woman has been abused by a man I think she just proved something and aren't these types all about raising the voices of women so why is this woman telling another woman what she's allowed to speak about family is mainly plant-based but um, we just go back to scripture and what the word says about food and there's a lot so you should check it out the difference is we don't have slabs of baby meat down aisle three at walmart not really sure how someone fathomed this one up you know i'm not supposed to laugh at this but do you work for the news media because i don't know how you gathered i hate women from that I <laughs> totally called out that hate women crap. Being pro-life doesn't mean you want to take away women's rights. I get that there are some people out there who are trying to actually do that, but it's like someone who believes in traditional marriage, it being between a man and a woman. It doesn't mean they hate or will try to stop anyone in the LGBTQ from getting married. It just means they disagree with it. And that's fine. As long as they're not actively harming anyone or trying to stop them from doing so, then it's all Gucci. Thank you, but here's the thing. Everybody's gonna have a different opinion and we have to respond humbly 
with love and with respect. I might not like their decisions, but I still am gonna love them. Well, at least there's someone with a brain and can contain their emotions. Although I do disagree with all that uh, love and compassion crap, but I'm also a petty bitch. So, uh, yeah. I'm so sorry you're disappointed. I don't know what else to say. Maybe just get in the word. Um and see what God speaks to you. Low-key, she's telling him that she doesn't give a fuck. And what's up with all these people acting like disappointed parents? You are totally right. Um, my body, my choice. Uh, the baby's body is not the woman's body, so she can't decide what to do with that body, but you can decide what to do when it comes to vaccines. Bro, these analogies, <laughs> what's going on? How can you correlate the vaccine to getting an abortion? This reminds me of when Jess fam stated some doo-doo, comparing the COVID vaccine to eating fast food. People have no problem with putting Big Macs and big chickens in their mouth and don't want the vaccine. <laughs> yeah, because it's their choice. People choose to do that, and not everybody does. And aren't all these abortion analogies based around R-A-P-E, as in something forced and against someone's will and consent? So why are you comparing abuse to choosing to getting the vaccine? Just doesn't make any sense. The best part of this shit show is that all the people coming up with all these mouth-breathing analogies would bash you for choosing to not get the COVID vaccine, even though they're all about my body, my choice. There's just no winning. That that's what I'm talking about. That's what I love seeing. It's okay that we can completely disagree with one another on something, but just be loving back and forth and being respectful. That's awesome. That made me very happy. Gotta love the 200 IQ plays. My thoughts exactly. Uh, my intention was never to be nasty, especially to victims. So I think maybe you just completely misunderstood me or my heart. But um, yeah, maybe go back and rewatch because not my intention. This is what I was talking about, about twisting things. How did she even come off remotely nasty at all? If anything, she was too damn nice and loving for my taste. Kind of makes me want to puke. And there was one more really, really dumb question based around if being able to worship Jesus is a form of white privilege or white supremacy, but I couldn't find it. Nor do I even want to begin to understand the logic behind the question itself, especially for the fact that Alexa is Colombian. Has this person ever not not seen a black church. They go in on Jesus harder than anyone I've ever seen. Anyways, all you jealous haters, that's all the slaps I have for you today. If you can take anything away from this video, just let people believe what they want as long as they aren't actively harming anyone or inciting any violence. Don't be a biased bitch. And if you don't like Alexa's opinion or even mine, there's the door.